Hey guys, this is Mr. Post, and today we'll be reviewing some problems on the metric system. So the whole goal here is going to be looking at the metric system, not necessarily teaching it, but really just reviewing a few problems on it. So let's go. In our first example, I want to start off with a given. The given is one kilometer, and I want to find out how many meters that is. So I'm going to go up to the number line, my little metric line here, and I'm starting off in kilometers right there. So I'm starting off in K. The prefix is kilo, the base unit is meters, so I'm measuring a distance. I want to now find somewhere else in the number line that has an M, and that stands for meters. That is not this guy over here. Don't be confused, that's not that. If I had asked you to go to millimeters, two M's, that would be the correct place to go. So I'm asking you to go to M, and we're going to go where the base units are found. The base units are found on the middle of the number line. So I'm going to now move from kilo over to the base unit line. And I'm going to move one, two, three places over. What I'd like you to do now is take your decimal point on your number and now move it three places over in the same direction. One, two, three, and put a new decimal point right there. I now have 1,000 as my answer. So one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Here's another very similar problem. I have 215 kilograms, and I want to find out how many grams that is. So once again, the same process we're going to use, identify where we are in the number line. We're starting off in kilo. So I'm right here, and I need to use move to grams. Grams is right here. And so I'll be moving one, two, three. So I need to take my decimal point and now go 215, and now go one, two, three. One, two, three places over, and that ends up being 215,000 grams. Pretty easy. Alright guys, here we go. Let's start off this time in 34.55 seconds, and I want to find out how many milliseconds that's equal to. Alright, so let's go here. We're in seconds. Seconds is uh, just in the base unit. I know it's on the base unit because there's no prefix in front of it. Any number that's on the number line, kilo, hecto, deca, those are all prefixes you put in front of the word second. Right now, I have seconds. I don't have anything in front of it, so I know my location is going to be right here on the middle of the number line. That's where I am. Where am I going to? Let's look down here in the problem. The problem says I have a little m. A little m stands for milli. That means I'm going to this location right here. And I'm going to be traveling one, two, three places in that direction. Now I want you to grab hold of your decimal point and move it in the same place. So 34.55 Let's check this out. And let's take our decimal point and now it's right there. I'm going to move it one, two, three places over to the right. One, two, three places to the right. And that's where it's going to belong now. And I fill up that little hoop with a zero. So my new answer is three, four, five, five, zero milliseconds. That's cool. 34,550 milliseconds. That's a really easy conversion, isn't it? You're just literally starting off and finding out where you belong on the number line and finding out where you're going to. Let's try one, but let's go in the opposite direction. In this example, I'm starting off with 700,000 milliliters, and I want to find out how many kiloliters that is. So here we go. I'm starting off in millo, milli. There we go. Let's find it up here, and that's going to be milli. Once again, it matches milli. It's up right there. This here happens to be meters. That's not what I'm interested in. So I'm looking at the prefix milli. The unit I'm measuring is a volume, liters, and I want to go to kilo. So I'm going from milli over here to kilo. Now let's find out how many how many places that is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna move my decimal point six places that way. I'm gonna put an imaginary decimal point right here. All right, and I'm gonna move it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my new answer is going to be 0 0.7 kiloliters. That's right, 0.7 kiloliters. So once again, I started off, identified I was in milli, 
So what I did first, I identified where I am. I identify next where I am going to. I do have a prefix here, so the prefix is right here. I'm gonna go over there, and I simply trace out, count how many places I'm moving that way, and I literally just move my decimal point in that direction as many places as I've moved. On our last example here for the day, we're gonna look at um, a little time measurement. I have 110.35 microseconds, and I wanna to go to milliseconds. All right, so let's identify where we're starting off. We're identifying where I'm starting off as in micro. Let's find micro up here. So I'm beginning my journey. Where am I ending up? I'm gonna end up in the prefix milli. Prefix milli is right here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three places to the left. I literally just take my decimal point and I go one, two, three places to the left. So how many milliseconds? Put a zero there first, 0 0.110, 0. 35 milliseconds. Hey guys, that's all there is to it. You do have to memorize the number line. You do have to be aware that whenever there is no prefix mentioned, that you're going to be in the base units right here. So just remember that. And as long as you know this, you're going to do fantastic, all right? If you want any extra help, please visit me on Tuesdays after school in room C217. And if you happen to find these very, very useful and you want to let me know, Please uh, email me at bpost at frhsd.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.